All right. So we move to the public comments. Expected to be long, and it seems like we have fair samples of the community here. We expect uh, everyone to respect each other. Do not direct your comment to each other, and uh, and here myself. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I hope this uh, meeting will go smooth and we can start public comments. Thank you. And I ask everybody in the hallway, just a moment. I ask everybody in the hallway to please keep it down so you can hear if your name is called for public comment. Um, I'm gonna, so I let me go through this real quick. I'm gonna go through the people that are here first. Can you please? Thank you. I'm going to go through public comments of those that are here to speak in public, in person, before I do my email public comments. Uh, as for the public comments that I received through emails today, I received probably about 125 emails. Uh, I will not be reading all those because 50 plus or 60 plus of them came after 4 o'clock and unfortunately our cutoff time is 4 o'clock for public comments. Um, so I will be reading every public comment that we received before 4 o'clock today. I will start with the uh, locals, and I have Lukman Saleh. Three minutes, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lukman Saleh. I'm the uh, Yemeni, uh, Yemeni Impact uh, President. I have been living in the city since 1997. Since that year, the city has been suffering from budget deficits and has declared bankruptcy several times. For the first time in the history of them, of, in my life in the city, a budget surplus is declared this year. I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to the mayor of the city, Dr. Amr Ghalib, to the city council, to the city manager, Mr. Max Gerbreno, and his team. Guys, keep up the great works. We are proud of you. We are proud of your presence in these positions, and you deserve our home and support. How nice it is to see the right person in the right place. We look forward to seeing our city beautiful, healthy, and safe. And this requires more efforts and continuous work from all of us with sincerity. For Resolution 2023-82, we respect all laws supporting political, religious, sexual and other freedoms and we hope that everyone will exercise their personal freedom in their private places and the public places and city property will not be used to support any freedoms of our of, uh, of any parties without the freedoms of other parties thank you so much thank you thank you uh, Lynn Blasey <coughs> Hello, Mayor and Council. Uh, first, I would like to comment on Resolution 202374. Um, I'm just looking for clarification on the time for the Hindu rally. Um, in one part of the resolution, it says 1 to 4 p.m., the other says 5 to 7. On Resolution 202377, um, I just want to express excitement for the opportunity for Fatima to expand her home um, and purchase the neighboring property to add a sunroom. Um, I think that's a really great program and we, uh, more approvals of these kinds of projects will really help um, other people know that that's an option. Uh, 2023-78, I support this um, additional street sweeper um, purchase uh, based on the attachments to this resolution. Um, it will really pair well with the one we just purchased. Um, this one will pick up larger items, the other one will pick up all the smaller debris and it'll be a lot more efficient for our city. Um, I also support um, the extension of the alley contract. Um, it's my understanding that there's only two alleys left um, and they've been doing a good job with that. And I also support the um, purchasing of new carpet and flooring throughout City Hall. Um, it'll really help bring us into you know, this level of prosperity that our city is um, moving into. Um, I do have some concerns regarding uh, Resolution 202381. Um, from reading the attachments, uh, I just want to get some clarification about the Taser purchase. And I read in the um, description of the Taser 7 
that there's an option for the taser to turn off after five seconds automatically, or that each um, different municipality can choose to disable that function. So I just would like some um, <coughs> assurance that we would not be disabling that function for our community. And finally, regarding, how much time do I have? You have a minute. Okay. Um, regarding resolution 2023-82, um, I'm really concerned about some of the wording of this resolution. Um, as it stated, um, I feel like some groups are gonna be discriminated against that have traditionally been included in our flags on Joseph Campo. Um, we have flown the Cherokee Nation flag and the African Union flag um, for several years. Neither of those groups are recognized countries or nations. And under this resolution, we would no longer um, be able to fly that flag. Also, um, I'm curious why this would stop at religious uh, or at flags um, when in other areas of our city, we are very inclusive and have representation um, for our religious groups. Can I ask for a minute? Acting here, cross for the elected body, not the clerk. I, I asked the mayor. Okay. Um, and I'm curious why this, um, the rhetoric in this resolution, if it would stop at flags, um, because saying that it's, our city is not going to support one religion or anything like that, um, will this present, prevent us from having either Christmas decorations? Would this eliminate our free parking um, for religious holidays? just doesn't make sense the way it's written um, that we would draw the line at flags and then also um, there's a section in the resolution that says each group is represented by the country to which they belong and I'm curious how we're defining country um, is that the United Nations recognized countries would that include um, countries that are not recognized by the United Nations? So I have a lot of questions about the, the language used in this resolution. Thank, Thank you, Lynn. You. Rose Carver. <coughs> Thank you for your time. Um, and may I address the esteemed and distinguished council people here before me. I am here to support Resolution 82. Hamtramck may be one of the most diverse cities in the country, but we have to draw the line somewhere. Sure, many Hamtramck residents have fled countries where being gay is a death sentence, but nothing says we have to make it comforting and welcoming here. While we can't legally discriminate against LGBTQ people in the United States anymore, uh, the City Council of Hamtramck can say, ill now, be proud somewhere else because that is the meaning of neutrality, my fellow citizens. Additionally, at a time when all of us feel the burn of inflation, we can't expect to cost over, uh, to throw cost towards rainbow flags, we have to spend $146,996 on, on tasers for the Hamtramck Police Department. And just in case any of these radical gays get out of line, during Pride Month, no less. Bravo. And so allow me to humbly present a redesign of the Hamtramck City Placard to underscore this brave council's position on neutrality. This new sign will ensure that visitors and residents know that this is a city that stands for diversity so long as it doesn't offend the religious beliefs and backgrounds of others. The slogan shall now read, Hamtramck welcomes you if you're straight. And this is a historic moment, a moment where the basic rights of LGBTQ folks are under attack. And history will look back at these seven brave members of city council and remember they remained neutral. The headlines will read, heroic Hamtramck city council votes to stay neutral during pride month, bans pride flags on all city property and instead invests in police tasers. Now, and I, this might be a little on the nose for you, and if you don't like this poster, I do have another one. Um, uh, this is uh, the, obviously we'll have to paint over the rainbow on the, on the mural because that is a little too gay. But we will have the world in two straight miles. So it's a little bit, uh, it's covert, so it's not right on the nose. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, I yield my, the rest of my time. Hello. Oh. Thank you. Russ Gordon. 
Please keep it down. Thank you. Very circus Oh, the best the best circus. Please keep it down. Go ahead, Russ. Okay. Um, I'm obviously speaking about the uh, uh, the, the flag order. The, uh, the audience to eliminate the pride flag. Um, you know, there have been uh, a, a number of reasons presented for it. The, probably the biggest is that um, that some of the flags don't represent flags of nations. Um, others that the flag selection was done without a quorum. There, there, were, there have been many many reasons put for, for, forth for this. Um, We've, we've always had flags that were not flags of nations displayed there since day one, 10 years ago. Um, that's not new. I think the elephant in the room, the thing we all see, the thing we're not talking about, is that homosexuality is a sin. And I think that's what's, what's weighing on people and, and driving this decision. Um, it's... And that, that is an inappropriate reason for banning this flag. Um, th there could be many reasons. The gay folks have been um, uh, have been sidelined for centuries. Okay, they, they um, back in the day they were executed. Um, uh, This may be a sin, but it's a reality, okay, and it exists. And there are a lot of gay people in this community, and that flag represents them. It's inclusive. It allows them to feel like they belong in this community. For many, many years, for centuries, they haven't belonged anywhere. They, um, okay. Um, I, I, had, I had a real good friend of mine years ago. Um, he was an uh, executive in a, uh, one of the largest um, uh, administrative, top administrator in one of the largest medical centers in the country. And um, he, he couldn't come out. He got married to a woman just to maintain his cover. Um, this, this has been the history of, of gay folks. Um, you know, 40, 50 years ago, folks started coming out. Um, when they did, they lost friends, family. Um, it, it was, it's, it's pitiful. Recently, recently, because we live in the United States of America, um, it's, it's no longer, there's no longer a law against it. There's no, folks can stand Thank up. you, Russ. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. What it's all about is pride. That's it. Thank and we you. Need to let them have their pride. Thank okay. you, Russ. Hassan Oon, three minutes. Good afternoon, Hassan. Hold on one second. Good afternoon, Hassan, a union public activist living in Dearborn. I just want to tell everybody, you know, Pride Month, don't put it down our throats. Okay, because let me say something. That flag, the pride flag, you think you guys want to put down my throat? Let me put my Lebanese flag down your throat. Okay? We're not going to sit here and put the Yemeni flag. We're not going to sit here and put any flag. We're just going to put the American flag. That's what we support. I am a Lebanese person and I support the American flag. We are not going to sit here and tolerate you guys coming and say, Oh, it's Pride Month. You're gay, no problem. You be gay by yourself, not by... Don't sit here and throw it down kids' throats, my throat, or anybody's throat. Yes, this, this is... Yeah, just the way. I'm addressing what's it called? No, I'm sitting there talking, I'm addressing you guys. Yes, I ain't addressing nobody else but counsel. Thank you. Please. But you're interrupting me, so I get 30 seconds. Yeah. Anyways, uh, just to let the counsel know that 
the Pride Day or Pride Month or whatever they want to call it, don't put it down our throats. Uh, we support the American flag. My parents came to this country in 1972 from Lebanon. You don't see my family saying they're putting the flag and say, I'm going to put the Lebanese flag down your throat. You keep your flag, you want to put it at your house, put it at your house. Do not put it on city property and do not put it in our schools. Yes, sir. Nice and yes, simple. Sir. So you guys got to step out. Everyone else, if you're not in the seat, you got to stand in the hallway. October 10th, I closed the uh, Dearborn uh, School Board. Why? Because they're trying to put sexual uh, explicit material in our schools. Don't put it down my throat. You want to put that? Read it to your kids at your homes. Don't be reading it to our kids in school. We are tired of this. At the end of the day, we are not going to tolerate nobody putting no flag in city property or anywhere. You want to put the American flag? You want to put the LGBTQ flag? Put it at your house. Don't sit there and try to bring it in our city, in our schools, and teach children something that we do not need around our children. So I'm asking the city council today to approve a resolution that no flag but the American flag to be in any city or any school. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you. Naji al Mudhali. We just like to talk to Three minutes, sir. Good evening. My name is Naji, and I'm an immigrant from a small village in a country called Yemen. I came to this great country when I was less than seven years old. But I did not always think that this was a great country. In fact, from the time I got here until I graduated college, I was constantly told America is an evil country. America is an unjust country. America is a racist country. I felt like I did not belong here. Over the years, as I grew up in America, I had flashbacks to my early life in Yemen. I remembered that we were so poor, we would have only chicken once in a blue moon. And when we did have the chicken, we ate everything. And I remember we had no running water, no electricity, and no bathrooms. Yes, I did remember all of this growing up. But you see, it was a faint, distant memory as if, as if it were my imagination or my dream. So for 20 years, I never traveled beyond the borders of America. That changed in 2000 when I visited Yemen for the first time. And needless to say, I was in complete shock. The level of poverty and chaos that I personally witnessed there was at another level. The effect it had on me was similar to when you're in a nightmare and you suddenly wake up. It was a complete shock. Alhamdulillah, praise be to God. Now I am thankful that God has blessed me with the opportunity to be and live in this wonderful country where I have the freedom to live my life as I see fit, where I can worship my creator in peace and tranquility. Unfortunately, many people in our country don't seem to understand this. They don't know or they don't want to know what it's like to live in extreme poverty, what it's like to live under severe repression, where there's no freedom of speech, no freedom of religion. I owe my success and my livelihood first and foremost to the creator himself, almighty God, then to this great country. Our soldiers fought, bled, and died in the jungles of Iwo Jima and the beaches of Omaha so that you and I can live with peace, prosperity, and freedom. Those soldiers fought under the American flag and no other. It's shameful and embarrassing to have any other flag in public buildings. You have the freedom to display whatever you wish in your home or your private businesses. We respect all nations cultures and their flags, but we only salute the American flag. Do not waver and do not flinch. You are doing the right thing. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. <laughs> Mike Cashel, I need you to keep it down out there. Mike Cashel, Mike Cashel.
Yeah. Sir in the red shirt, if you keep that up, you're gonna leave. The guy in the red shirt. My cash, I'm please. Yes, right Thank you. Good evening, Council. My name is Mike Hasham. First thing I want to say, all of us are immigrants. All of us came from countries to respect this flag. And there should be no other flag in this country other than the American flag. We have civil wars in our, in our, in our countries. We have famine in our countries. But to come to a country to display a colorful flag that means nothing to us, I mean, that's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to the people that lost their lives for this country in wars. It's a disgrace for this flag, for people who lose their lives just across the border to have a better life in this country. And let me tell you something. I'm all for removing the gay pride flag. Because you know what, let me tell you something. This is America. I have the right to say I'm against the gay pride flag. If anyone has an issue with it, they could go kick rocks. But in the end of the day, this is the flag that should be up. No other flag. Thank you. Khalil Uthman. Khalil Uthman. Uh, good evening, Mayor and uh, City Council member. Uh, I would start. I had the privilege and the honor to work in this great city for four years. And this great city embraced diversity despite the fact in the past years it suffers so many economic hardships. And while we celebrate the budget balance and the surplus that this leadership introduced under their uh, leadership within one year, and that surplus will continue for many years to come, I do believe throughout my time here, working with different minorities, different culture, different the city, the city got along really, really good. People, people uh, lived here for many years and they got along really good. Entertaining or introducing or start getting the communities or segregating the communities based on ethnic and racial or groups or political affiliations, this is just gonna create hate. This is gonna create division. This is gonna create so many things with, for the city. So if we take a step back and celebrate what this leadership has achieved today and what's coming in the upcoming years for this city, it's much better than focusing on something that's really gonna defy the city. I do support the proposal and the resolution that you guys are proposing, and I do believe one flag, the United States of America, should be the only flag that's sitting or standing in the city property. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie Butler. Today I want to stand here and uh, talk about something that, that wraps around this uh, proposal you guys have. I'm a, I'm a member, fairly new member of a Facebook group for Hamtramck. And I have to tell you that the, the Yemeni are being so targeted on this page by members of the LGBT community. They're being baited. They're being put in traps to say things. They're being threatened to be sued for talking about their religion, this, that, and the other. Um, it, it's relentless attacks on this community. And we're talking, we're sitting here talking about flying flags that has nothing to do with making peace in this community. It's unacceptable to witness the targeting of individuals based on their religious beliefs. Such acts of discrimination and mistreatment undermine the principles of respect, tolerance, and human dignity that are essential for a just and inclusive society. The deliberate harassment and mockery inflicted upon the Yemeni community by individuals on this Facebook group are reprehensible. No one should be subjected to such degrading treatment because of their faith. 
It is a violation of their fundamental rights and an assault on the principles of religious freedom and coexistence. And we stand here and we talk about coexistence, but it's okay for one group to attack another group because those people want to stand by their faith. This is America. We don't fly heterosexual flags. We don't fly any of these other flags. That doesn't mean that people aren't free to exist. They are. But we don't have to fly a flag on city property next to the United States flag that slams in the face, it goes against things that people do not believe. If we're going to respect one side, we're going to respect the other. And that's all I have to say. Gracie Kedju. I rise today to speak against 22, 20, uh, the flag resolution and the lie that it's based upon. This, this resolution is brought about through a bold-faced lie. This resolution has zero to do with hate groups flying a flag unless the city administration fully and truly believes that the LGBTQI community of Hamtramck is a full-fledged hate group. Though, from what I can see that this gathering, there's only one hate group listed by the Southern Poverty League here tonight, and that's Moms for Liberty. I challenge the council to return with a resolution that is transparent and name their real target for erasure, which is the LGBTI community. If the council chooses to carry through with this lie, they are doing a disservice to Hamtramck in the community they claim to serve. Mr. Mayor, you should be ashamed for this. You should be ashamed for this farce and for having Muhammad bring this forth. When you said four days ago in reference to flying the pride flag, he doesn't have to worry. There is a higher level decision coming. That isn't democracy, sir. That isn't the America I fought for. That's fascism. It is clear that you are either ignorant or hateful and spiteful. The clear and abundant desire to shove this community back in the closet is seen by all of us. And I leave you with a history lesson. The rising of Stonewall was in response to hate, and my community will rise again. I fought for you. I fought for your right to hate me, and you're welcome. Joey Roberts. Oh. 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 Respectful. Everyone has the right to speak. Whether you agree with them or not. Yeah, please. Joey Roberts. Folks, thank you. If you don't keep it down, we will clear the hallway. Any other officer out there? Yes. Joey Roberts. Joey Roberts. Come on, drop. Oh, I'm not Oh, I'm the Hello, Mayor, City Council members, change of subject and all that. My thing is about the police policy. Police have policy in here, Trevor. But the citizens don't know what the policy is. Police violate the policy every day. But they expect our superiors to sit there and exclude them on that. But hey, how do the people know what policy they are breaking? My brother was beat up two weeks ago. They broke three thresholds, my gate, my screen door, and my door, and beat my brother in my house. I asked for the policy twice, was rejected because they said it jeopardizes their um, procedures. I don't want to know the procedures, I just want their policy. Are they able to smoke on a job? Are they able to drink on a job? Are they able to run red lights? Are they able to... Uh, just be rude to a citizen for no reason at all. That is my thing, it's like the police, we, the citizen needs to know the policy of the police so we can hold them accountable because they get away with way too much. They sit there, they disrespected me, they disrespected my mom. My mom is 85 pounds, she's a little short lady. A six foot five seven lady told her he, she's gonna take her to jail. My mom said, no, you'll take me to the hospital. 
she's 85 pounds. I'm asking for the policy to be released to the citizens of Hamtramck, of Hamtramck. The police policy, not the procedures, not to jeopardize their integrity or um, their safety. The policy, the rules they have to follow. How can we hold them accountable if the citizens don't know what rules they gotta follow? We have to wear a seatbelt. Do cops have to wear a seatbelt? Can cops smoke in a police car? Can cops just pull up and question me for no reason? I'm asking for the policy to be released to the citizens of him training. The police policy, not the procedures, the policy, the rules, and the rules they have to follow. I see cops, I see police blow through red lights all the time. I see police make red uh, U-turns all the time. I see police not wearing a seatbelt all the time. I see police driving around with cracked windshield all the time. But no one holds them accountable. The citizens of Hamtramck were held accountable. When they threaten a citizen of Hamtramck, should they be held accountable? That's why I'll stop from today, but I'm asking for the release of Hamtramck police policy. I requested it twice. I was denied twice. Thank you, Joey. I just want to know their policy. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, ma'am. Have a blessed day. Thank you. I have Ifamira Kaju. Ifamira Kaju. Ifamira Kaju. Ifamira Kaju. Something Kaju. How you pronounce it? Ifamira. 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 Thank you. I expected to be going at the end. My mistake. Three minutes. Um, I definitely don't want to talk for three minutes. Um, so my concern, uh, I really want to stay in my lane, and it's it is about the um, the way the policy regarding the uh, flying the flag reads. Um, but I'm an artist, and I'm not a poli sci major or anything like that. Uh, so I want to talk about specifically my concern about the wording and how it's going to relate to art in the city. Um, sidewalk chalk murals are a really great way for emerging artists to get kind of like experience. It's a great way for small business owners to get artwork and it's temporary. It's a, it's a kind of a tradition in Hamtramck. We have children who come out for events and do sidewalk uh, drawings and all this kind of thing. And I'm just concerned by the way that it reads that that won't be something that's allowed to be diverse in nature and celebratory of pride. And so I would like for the city council to just think about that and maybe take some time to reword it and consider how it's gonna impact how we express art and diversity in the city specifically when it doesn't pertain to a flag flying on a pole. Right, so I know we're talking about flags specifically, that's been the hot topic online, but the way it reads, it talks really about images, and those can be really powerful and important for visibility. The queer community is prone to suicide, so when it comes to art and expression, I would really like that to be considered and maybe to consider reverting the ordinance. So that's actually it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bill Meyer? Mr. What? Bill Meyer. Bill Meyer? He's over here. I'm here. I'm already here. <laughs> Hello, Councilman here. Uh, Bill Meyer from One Um So we all have one enemy that we all have to fight here. We're all the same. The enemy is hate. We have hate on all sides. We have hate to deal with every issue we have. We have to conquer hate. Love is the answer. We have to respect every human being. As far as religious friends of mine, I think you all believe, you should believe, that every human is made in the image of God. We're all important, every one of us, regardless of what our sexual orientation is, what our gender is, whatever. We're all human beings and we're all in this ship together and we're all gonna go down together if we don't watch it. So the first thing I'm sure religious people should respect everybody as a human being first. 
we don't have to agree with anyone's sexual orientation and gender, or other, but you still have to respect people as human beings. And I see nothing but uh, love from this council. I don't see any hate coming from this council or mayor. I've watched you for a long time. That's why I say I support this council. I think you're trying to find a solution. And the most difficult thing to do is to find a way for people to live with other people that they don't agree with. That's the hardest thing to, to live with. I've been doing this a long time. And you don't want to get in an argument with people because it's over with. Once you start fighting, you don't have to find a solution. You have to find solutions, and I know you're trying to do it. Thank you for that. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about something else. So can I have an extra minute? Yes, Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. You. Okay. And by the way, you're supposed to address the mayor, not the council. Um, so I'm the, the chair of uh, the Michigan Peace Council, which is the chapter of the U.S. Peace Council, which is the, uh, a member of the, the World Peace Council, which is the largest peace organization in the world. And we have a chapter here in Michigan. And we have a project coming up. I want to give you a heads up because I'm going to, again, uh, uh, Michigan Peace Council is going to be presenting to you a, a move the money resolution for the Hampton Island City Council. It's coming up soon, and I want you to know about it. It's a call on Congress and the President to move significant funds away from military spending, from military <coughs> budget, which is now close to a trillion dollars, in order to fund social services and to hold in-depth public hearings in each city, in our city, on the basic human needs of Hampton residents that are unmet because of government appropriations towards the Pentagon. We have to start spending wisely instead of funding wars all around the world. That's killing people. We have to find a way to save people and help people. And I know you're all for that. So we're going to present that to you later. Also, we're going to urge our mayor to join a, a group called Mayors for Peace, which um, was started in 1982 by, uh, in the UN by a mayor from uh, uh, Nagasaki, you know, the first city that was, that was bombed with a nuclear bomb. One of only two cities. The goal is to join in solidarity with over 8,000 cities in the world. Mayors from 8,000 cities are getting together to work together to press for nuclear abolition, nuclear bombs, to uh, to contribute to the attainment of lasting world peace and to solve vital problems for the human race, such as starvation, and poverty, the plight of refugees, human rights abuses, and environmental degradation. This is what we need to do. We have to be known as a peace city. We have to be inclusive. We have to include everyone in the city. And I know you want to include the LGBTQIA2S community as much as anybody else. You respect them. I feel that. I know that. The flag issue is a touch, tough thing to deal with. We have to find a way for everybody to accept the compromise or something. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Darren Shelton. just down, down the street uh, on Connecticut. Um, we're a nonprofit performing arts organization that has been here uh, in the city of Hamtramck for, uh, it'll be 30 years on Labor Day. Um, we're an institution in the city, uh, long before my time. Um, and, and I'm here today to say that the LGBT uh, community is the lifeblood of, of our organization uh, and of arts and entertainment in general. Um, I understand everybody that's coming up here today and saying things along the lines of uh, it should only be the American flag. I understand that. Um, but the fact of the matter here is that it's not just the American flag. There are plenty of flags represented. Um, because this is a diverse city, it's, it's, it's a great city. And the diversity is what makes it great. Um, I am here uh, on behalf of allowing the LGBT community's voice to be heard as well, um, alongside because I do believe that's what makes this city great. I've worked my entire adult life here in this city. Um, I don't think sexuality is a political issue. Um, the LGBT community deserves their presence and contributions within this community to be acknowledged alongside all of the other great populations here. Uh, because together, 
is what makes this city great. It's why I believe in this city. It's why I work every day here to try to improve this city. This resolution to me feels like a thinly failed attack on one flag. I, I understand. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I implore you to strike down resolution 202382 and allow the LGBT members of this community that are here, that are working every day for this city, to be acknowledged, to have their contributions highlighted alongside everyone else doing wonderful things in this city. I'm hopeful that you will choose to put political views aside and, and do the right thing and lead <coughs> with love for humanity and give a voice to a group of people that have been systematically held down and voiceless for, for forever. That being said, I, I am not naive. I understand that this vote has all but passed. And I am here to say, Mr. Mayor and council members, that this battle did not start today. And it will not end today. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Pizzielli. Matthew Sir Matthew Pizzielli. No? Okay. Emmeline Rutowski. Rutowski? Emmeline Rutowski. What is it? Emmeline Rutowski. Emmeline Rutowski? Emmeline Rutowski. Got her. Okay. Three minutes. Okay. Thank you. Hello. No, please keep that down. Down. Okay. Oh, so good. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Council. Um, as a resident of Hemtramck, hearing about Resolution 2023-82 um, before Council today makes me ask: Does Hemtramck not want to maintain a reputation of welcoming, of being a welcoming city to one and all? Is it not proud of the many groups and individuals and community of individuals that are pertinent to its nurturing, growth, and ultimate success? Does it believe in upholding the separation of church and state? I believe this is an issue of human rights. The reason behind this resolution seems reminiscent of fear-mongering, manipulating the city's citizens to think they are in potential danger if this doesn't pass. I believe it's the opposite. If this resolution does pass and pride flags are banned to fly on city property, I think it sends an open message to those who are against the rights of LGBTQI folks and encourages harmful, intolerant, and most of the time false perceptions of the community. I want to live in a city where I know my friends and family feel safe, seen, and heard. This is a basic right that should be extended to all well-meaning citizens, and to this, Passing today's resolution would display an act, of, uh, an act of disagreement, I think. I really hope you, Mr. Mayor, uh, and this council takes these words into consideration. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Cindy Louise. Cindy Louise. Cindy Louise. Cindy. Cindy Louise. Cindy. Cindy, Cindy Louise. Cindy. She's coming, she's coming. Go. Welcome, Cindy. Three minutes. Nope, just keep it there. Okay. This isn't even thinly disguised. This is an attack on LGBTQT people. And let's be real about what's going on here. You have joined, added one more on top of the more than 500 resolutions and laws that have been proposed and or passed in this country attacking LGBTQT people, making it illegal for people to be forcing situations in which LGBTQT youth are very much in danger of 
of suicide and other forms of self-hatred for no damn reason other than the fact of some old male supremacist religious ideology. Now, you got to face that that's what that is. This is saying, no, not here either. We join with, you know what, DeSantis and Donald Trump and Greg Abbott. Congratulations, people. That's inclusive to you. So that's one thing. The other thing I have to say is this thing about inclusion under the flag. People have raised that. We aren't, I, I'm someone who is not included under the American flag. On June 24th, the people who run this country made it that we women have no longer the right to control our bodies. There's tens of thousands of people who are immigrants on the border who are suffering terrible conditions at the hands of this country. There was a Muslim ban at the beginning of Trump's regime in this country. That will be reimposed. There is a, a trajectory going along here, and you have the choice to either stand up to it and do something about it or join it like you're doing right now. I don't accept it. Myself, I'm a revolutionary. I'm a revcom, and I will say this, that the government that I'm going for and fighting for is one that not only allows the oppressed people and different things, but actually teaches them the history and, and leads people to stand up to this kind of BS. No respect to you at all for even bringing us here. Go Trump! Caitlin Drinkard! Caitlin Drinkard! Caitlin Drinkard! Caitlin Drinkard! Caitlin! Caitlin! He's coming. He's coming. Ali El Marisi is next, so be ready. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. Hello, uh, I'm here to comment on Resolution 2023-82. My name is Caitlin Drinkard, and I've been a Hamtramck resident for 10 years. I'm also a high school counselor and have been for most of the last 10 years. Over the years, I have worked with a number of LGBTQ students who have been rejected by their own families and their own communities for simply being who they are. I've had students kicked out of their homes, threatened with violence and even death, and faced incredible adversity solely because of who they are and who they choose to love. According to the CDC, LGBTQ youth are more than four times as likely to attempt suicide than their peers, and more than four times as likely to be the victims of violence. The rates are even higher for LGBTQ youth of color. In the US alone, one LGBTQ youth attempts suicide every 45 seconds. So in the time I've been up here, an LGBTQ youth will have attempted suicide on average. One of the biggest protective factors keeping LGBTQ youth alive is acceptance. LGBTQ youth who live in a community that is accepting of LGBTQ people report much lower rates of suicide attempts. Hamtramck is a community that has, since its beginning, welcomed outsiders, immigrants new to this country, people with all kinds of traditions and beliefs, values and outlooks. Flying the pride flag at City Hall is not going to encourage people to be gay. It's not going to corrupt anyone's children. It is merely affirming the fact that LGBTQ people have a right to exist and a right to belong in the city where they live. For LGBTQ youth who are rejected by their families, seeing that pride flag flying in our city might give them one small glimmer of hope to hold on and not to give up. As a citizen of Hamtramck, I would hope that the council would consider the lives of our most marginalized youth and the effect that decisions like these have on their mental health and well-being. Your actions tonight speak volumes about who in this community you choose to represent and who you don't represent at all. And we will all remember that when we vote on August 8th. Thank you. Ali El Marisi. Ali El Marisi. Protect the kids. Ali El Marisi. 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 Ali El Get out of here. 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 Get out of
Ash Porter. Ash Porter. Tom. Um, Ash Porter. Um, you guys, there's no seats here. You guys gotta come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Sir, come out. Once seats are open, then you guys can come back in, okay? Yeah, just right over here. On this side. This side of the door. Step out. Step back. On this side. Okay. All right, step back over here. You can do it from right there, okay? No, Ash Porter. Ash Porter. Craig Brown. Craig Brown. Thank you. Welcome, Craig. A seer in the boat. Go. Zero, then this year she'll be nice. Oh, he'll be nice. You ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Thank you for having me here. Um, I would like to address the main issue I was talking about, uh, the flag and all that. Um, okay. Um, I've rented here for 10 years. I love him with all of my heart. I am. Um, I just purchased a home. I've been resident here for a very long time. I'm very proud of that fact. Um, why would our town, one of the most unique and diverse cities in the world, put an, put an ordinance to make any group feel unwelcome or not accepted? That is why I'm here, and that is, I'm here to ask why. This has nothing to do with a personal viewpoint on sexual orientation, and if it does, then this council is filled with nothing but bigots. I'm sure others here will have better and more articulate viewpoints on acceptance and diversity than myself. Even though that is my main reason for coming here, I have perhaps an unpopular viewpoint on why putting a ban on a flag with a rainbow on it is completely ridiculous. If we can't change your bigoted viewpoints on acceptance, maybe I can change, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can convince you to vote with your wallets. The LGBTQ community is the single best thing for property value in the history of the world. <laughs> Ferndale was nothing but a Redford or a Warren or a blue collar town when I was a kid. The gay community came in and painted that town with a rainbow brush and look what happened. It's stunning. The gay community are fearless risk takers. Throughout history, as a community, they have turned cities around single handedly. Palmer Woods, Indian Village, and Boston Edison are filled with rainbow flags. San Francisco was a bunch of dirty hippies. San Francisco is now the most sought after real estate in the history of the world, in the entire world, sorry. Big tech may have caused that too, but that would have never happened without their, uh, that would have never, uh, blah, blah, blah. If it wasn't for the fearless risk takers painting uh, San Francisco with a rainbow brush, that would have never happened. It never would have been big tech. Hey, what's up? Okay, look at the lower west of Man look at the lower west side of Manhattan. The list goes on and on. I can't believe this is even up for debate in my beloved city of Hamtramck in 2023. This is a step 70 years backwards, and you all in opposition should be embarrassed. If we didn't already have a constitutional standard separating church and state, I would get into how nothing in the Quran has scripture that has issues with homosexuality. So I don't have to go there. The, the Empire State Building has rainbow lights on it during Pride Month. Hamtramck has been, is, and shall continue to be a place of diversity and acceptance. It is the very foundation of what makes us great. Thank you, Donobad, Shukran, Inshallah. Thank you. Uh, Asir Nabolsi. Nabolsi. Nabolsi, Asir Nabolsi. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Asir Nabolsi. Okay, go ahead. Three minutes. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Asir Nabolsi. Uh, I am a convert. Uh, I took my Shabbat at the Taliban Center. Um, Please I'm speak a, up. <coughs> I'm an ex nuke with the United States Nuclear Power Training Command. I'm a citizen scientist, an anti oppression activist, and I'm a transgender man. I, I want to keep this really brief. Um, equating the oppressed with the oppressor is definitely and fundamentally dangerous. It wasn't just the Jews that they killed. It was genuinely every demographic in this room. There's no safety from the trivialization of violent hatred. And none of us are safe besides the oppressors in our midst. Thank you. Al-Hassan Al-Shahbi. Hassan Al-Shahbi. Al Hassan Al
Al Shabe? Shabe? Hassan! 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 Oh, we got action. Hassan, three minutes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know speak I think in Arabic because some sentence, uh, sentence, I don't know exactly how we can explain it here. But I think I'm going to speak in Arabic is better. I can give you like what, what I mean exactly. Uh, Thank you. Uh, أولا الشيء نتكلم عن المدينة هنا أنا لي من سكانيها يعني بحدود واحد وعشرين سنة في المدينة دائما إحنا نكافح بالسلام نكافح بالتقارب والحالي اجتماع إحنا نكون مسقارين دائما إحنا نحب إن إحنا نعمل الخير كفردي أو مجموعة ودائما نهم المدينة سواء بجميع 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 مجالاتها إحنا معنا مشكلة هذا العالم ما نشيش نضرر إحنا ولا نشيش نضرر أولادنا ولا نريد مجتمعاتنا ولا نريد أخلاقنا بشكل عام من هذا الشيء لأنه شيء دخيل علينا شيء دخيل على البشرية شيء دخيل على الشجر والحجر وكل شيء فنتمنى نتمنى نتمنى من سيارتكم أنكم توقفوا مع هذا الشيء وتوقفوا مع الكوميونتي بشكل عام لا ندخل أديان فيها بكثرة ولا ندخل مثلا ثقافات لأن كل واحد له احترامات الثقافة وكلنا نحترم الثقافات كل واحد عنده احترام للثقافة واحترام الأديان واحترام كل شيء بس هذا الشيء أنا أشوفه أنه مخالف حتى للبشرية مخالف للشجر مخالف للحجر للحيوان في كل شيء فنتمنى منكم أنكم تحترموا رأينا كمواطنين داخل المدينة وتقدروا وتثمنوا برفض هذا الشيء لأنه إحنا خايفين على نفسنا وعلى أولادنا so basically he said he, he has been living here in the city for the past 21 years and he as an individual and his community uh, have cared for this city uh, economically and for the safety of the people in the city and he thinks that the uh, flying the flag the LGBT flag is something unacceptable and it's odd, he said, to humanity and to the nature of people. And he thinks it will destroy the new generations right, by implementing or imposing this agenda on them. And uh, he is calling the council to vote in support of this resolution to ban any flag from flying. Basically, that's the main idea. Thank you. Good evening everybody, my name is Jamal Turki. I'm a Hamtramic citizen since 2004 and I used to be a lawyer in Yemen and assistant of Rizal of Saudi Follows. So when I speak, it's gonna be include some legal uh, legal rules. I hope every everybody understand this. Uh, all of us uh, know that Hamtramck is a welcoming city, but what we what is very clear that the LGBT community is aggressive on the legal rules for exercise their rights through their endeavor to exercise their right outside of the special scope defined by the law. We see, we see them liking, liking them, themselves to the civil rights movement that completed the liberation of uh, black citizens. But they forgot that the nation was not divided about that movement. And that it didn't have flag to be raised everywhere, since only states and international organizations raised their flags. While I call our representative in the municipal council to issue a decision banning the raising of flags, other than the city or state or the U.S. flags on the city property, we call 
or the member of the gay community and it supports to stop this matter which not only include wrongful exercise of the rights but also threaten the unity of the, seat, the, the society of uh, Hamtramck. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ellie Martin. Ellie Martin. Ellie Martin. Jessica Quick is next. Ellie Martin. Ellie Martin. Ellie Martin. 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 Ali 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 Martin. Ali
And then I have Theodore Mus uh Where am I going right here? Matzik is next. Theodore Matzik is next. No, you Thank you, Haley. Down. Go ahead, Haley. You have to keep it on there. Gonna speak. Just speak. You have to speak. Hi, my name is Haley Kane. Um, I relocated from California to Hamtramck. That's really far away. And I did it because I thought it was a diverse community. I knew this was a diverse city unlike anywhere in the world. And now I'm questioning whether it is, whether it is that diverse city. Um, the city should reflect the community and this resolution does not. Many of the people who are bringing the most value, not all of it, but quite a bit of it, are from the LGBTQ family. They are our neighbors, our business owners, their artists, their musicians, their parents, their teachers, and their local leaders. There is absolutely nothing neutral about banning rainbow flags on city property. It sends a clear message of discrimination. LGBTQ rights are human rights, and it is a huge disservice to the entire community and Hamtramck to send this message that you are only welcome here if you're straight. I personally don't want to live in a place like this, and this is not what I thought I was getting into when I moved here, honestly. This resolution is thinly veiled hatred. What message, I'm gonna close this with, our kids are we sending to young gay kids? This is not about making children gay. There are gay kids everywhere in the world. Get, being gay is natural, it's beautiful. Being trans is natural, and it's beautiful, and it's normal. And the pride flag represents making space for all humans on all the spectrums. And this is where we're going as a human species. You can't stop that. And the fact that we're even having this discussion about a rainbow flag in the city of Hamtramck is just honestly very sad to me. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Theodore Metzik? Theodore? And then uh, Stephanie is next. Stephanie? Stephanie? Stephanie's next. Hello. Um, my name is Theodore Matuzek. I grew up in this, this town. Uh, I lived here off and on for the last 43 years. I grew up on Belmont Street between Coton and Nellery. 3866 Belmont. I went to Hamtramck High. Uh, I, uh, I love this city. Um, and this whole this whole resolution is haram, I feel like. Haram. What I, I remember when people said that people like you and you and all of you shouldn't belong here. That you don't belong here. I remember uh, that, that you don't deserve to be recognized in this community. When the word effing Arabs was thrown around with a casualness that made me sick. Like... Oh my god. Uh, I prayed with my Muslim brothers on my sports teams at Hamtramck High. We all prayed to the same God. Uh, I remember having conversations with my Muslim friends and we, they talked about me because I was a Christian as a pe people of the book. They told me that hate is haram. They told me that hate is a sin. We were neighbors. We were friends. We were kids and didn't care about the racist, bigoted rhetoric that many of the grown-ups around us we're using. We were friends. Now here we are decades later and you're acting like the same bigoted people wanting to codify the discrimination against another group. People didn't want you to be here. People didn't want you to be here. Yeah, you know what? I know, I know. You don't talk to me. Yes, the hypocrisy is so apparent. You are using the, re the resolution to force your religious beliefs on an entire city. You are not fooling anyone. The LGBTQI community belongs here. The LGBT community deserves visibility. The LGBTQI plus community are human beings. If anything, I'm willing to bet that the loudest people voicing their favor of this resolution are gay themselves. I oppose this resolution and I oppose you bigots and your bald-faced attempt to make this city a place of hate. Hate is haram. Thank you. Speaking about my religion, Stephanie, can you? Stephanie here. Stephanie. Stephanie. Uh, Aliyah Schneider. Aliyah Schneider. Aliyah Schneider. Aliyah Schneider. Alice. Oh, Alice. 
Alex Schneider. Hi, Alice. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting day. Three minutes. All right, I am the current director of Public Pool Art Space. Um, it's right here on Kenneth and Gallagher. Gallagher. Um, I was not born in Hamtramck. I moved from a small minded town in southeast Michigan. I moved to Hamtramck because I love the community. I love that we were all welcomed and celebrated, no matter who or what we identified our or religion, sexuality, any of that. Um, with what this is proposing, it feels like um, this town is small minded, what I moved from. I also feel like this is like a hate speech telling us we can't be a representative. It should never have gotten this far. Please do not pass this. Biannually, we uh, at Public Pool curate an LGBTQIA plus exhibition called The Mighty Real Queer Detroit and are proud to do so. This is an event that is throughout Detroit and other venues throughout Hamtramck. How can I explain to my artists that this once rich and inclusive community isn't welcoming them? This will affect my business, and it breaks my heart that Hamtramck is leading with hate and not understanding. Leading with exclusivity, not friendship and tolerance. Let not, let's not be small-minded, Hamtramck. And please do something about tearing down our flags on private businesses and residents. It feels terrible. Please. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Eloise. Eloise. Uh, wait, is that Eloise or Eleanor? Eleanor. 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 Uh, you don't know an Eleanor? <laughs> Eleanor. No, no Eleanor. If there's not an Eleanor, she'd know if she was here. No Eleanor. Okay. Uh, Vendel Whitney. Vendel Whitney. Vendel Whitney. Vendel Whitney. Bendo Whitney. No. Hamid Al Hajaji. Hamid Al Jani. Al Hajaji. Al Hajaji. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to speak again at the end? You have it marked three times? No. That's it, this one? Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ala rasulina alameen thumma amma ba'ad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khalaqa al-insan wa khalaqa ma'ahu zawjahu. Dhakar wa unta. Wa huwa rabbuna subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lam yakhluq rajul wa rajul liyatazawajan. Wa la imra'a wa imra'a. وإنما خلق رجل وامرأة ونحن نريد أن هذا دين وإحنا لا نكره إنسان بذاته أو لشخصه وإنما لفعله مثلهم كمثل القاتل لا نكره القاتل وإنما نكره ما عمل به بالقيام بالقتل وإحنا ونحن بهذا الصدد نرفض هذا العلم أن يرتفع في مدينتنا وشكرا I, I'm sorry? Is that what you said? Oh, yes. Yeah, so basically he said that God has created uh, human from male and female, not uh, from male or male, or just female and female, and he is talking about his own religious philosophy that uh, it is unacceptable in Islam, and he does not hate others, but he is sticking to his values and he does not support flying the flag in public properties. Thank you. I believe it's Rin Al-Hassani. Rich. Rich. Al-Hassani, last name Al-Hassani. Al-Hassani, last name. Al-Hassani. No movement? Al-Hassani. Al-Hassani. الحسني يا سيدي الحسني الحسني صبر الكورة الحسني الحسني 
No. Ahmed Sabet. Ahmed Sabet. No. Did you want to speak at all comments also or just this one time? You I'll speak at okay. I want to speak at all time. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Ahmed Thabit. I'm a resident of Hamchamik for over seven years. Hamchamik is known as the whole world in two square miles for its culture, for its religion diversity, and for a lot of many things. Most people had true and dear to their, you know, they hold truth and dear to their culture and values and religion beliefs. And we elected you, representatives, the mayor and the, and the city council, right? Elected you uh, to represent us and our interests, not other people that does not even live in this city. Represent us and our interests and only, right? Okay? Um, to, to, uh, I'm sorry. Because we accept, I'm sorry, we, because we will not accept being imposed on, the, on this and that's why we here today, we are standing here for our values and beliefs for not only the future of my city or the future of the next generation, but for the future of the, my children and the next. Please, uh, I would like to thank everybody for having this proposal and I agree with you guys. Thank you so much. You also wish to speak again at the end? Okay. Respected mayor and council and all of the attendees for today's meeting. Ideology and the country, two different things. If we allow ideology in our community, in our city, then a lot of ideologies are coming to you. And they are trying to get their approval for so many things. Some of the ideologies are good, some of them are very bad. Uh, you know, the ideology everybody is talking about that. No religious support on behalf of them. There is nothing. None of the religion support them. I received so many calls. Even the friendly church people, they contacted me. They are arranging a rally against of them. There are some people is here maybe today. They, they, they said they're going to come here. But we respect all of the human beings. But the natural thing is very important for our community. Allah created us man and woman, this is, which is natural. And the begin, uh, beginning of the creation to the end of the world, people will practice that and people will, will gain the benefit out of it. That's why our city officials, you made good decision. I uh, appreciated you. And the second thing, before uh, the in this city council is now, people say Muslim, Islam, like this. Before I, I uh, you know, live this city like 25 years, and we faced so many problems with other religion uh, council members and the mayors. Then, uh, then we did not hated them uh, and call them like you are uh, the racist and you're and we did not criticize their religion. We respected them. Now we need to respect our council members and the uh, mayor. They are representing our community, our city. They are not re representing the religion of Islam. No, they are Muslim. This is true, but they are representing the community, the city of Hamtram. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Uh, I, I believe it's Tazmar. 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 Jilan Jaffrey. Jilan Jaffrey. Right. Do you also want to speak at the end? Or is this what you're talking? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum when the youth of Amsterdam explain against flying the LGBTQ flag in the city property, I call on all the city council members that represent us to make us, to pro uh, protect us and protect our values. I just want to point out a few stats. Based on CDC, the LGBTQ males account for 82% of all HIV diagnoses. 82% of all the males among, among the males with the HIV diagnosis. And many more stats that will make us, they will keep us, they will, keep, uh, they will make us rethink about the propaganda we are trying to normalize among our community. If the LGBTQ members want to deal with these issues of their own, I think it should be kept to them. And we as a youth do not want to associate with anything, we as a youth do not want to associate with anything that has, a, that has been proven, that has been proven to be immoral even scientific. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I believe Lisa Yunus. Is Lisa there, Yunus. Or it's Yunus. either Yunus or Lisa Young. Lisa Young. No, Lisa Young. Okay. Lisa Young. Youngs. Oh, there. John. Three minutes, Lisa. Um, my name is Lisa Youngs, and I'm a resident and service worker and a social worker living in the city of Hamtramck. Inclusivity and acceptance is something that LGBTQ folks have always fought for. LGBTQ folks, especially gay and trans folks of color, have been at the forefront of our social movements. Social movements which benefit all people and the safety of all people across the country. Queer communities, um, especially trans folks, are under attack legislatively. And for Hamtramck to attempt to equate the LGBTQ pride flag with hate symbols when it's a symbol of progress and love is now a local attack on our community. And it is in lockstep with the conservative white nationalist extremists in our country. Today I ask what is it that is so threatening about a community of self-expression, love, and inclusivity? Why is it that a symbol of overwhelming acceptance is being treated as a hate symbol? To me, the answer is fear. Fear of the most loving, accepting folks. Fear of our neighbors because of difference. Where else does the need to repress a message and symbol of love come from? We are a city of many different communities. And now we should resist the urge to other each other and let a spirit of love and acceptance guide this moment instead of hate and fear. Please say no to resolution 2023-82. Thank you. Whitney Greer. Whitney Greer. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for just the time to speak today. I appreciate it. Um, I'll try to be quick. I'm sorry, it's hot. Um, so I've heard many speakers tonight, um, each distinctly contrasting in either support or opposition of this ordinance. And I would just like to use my time here tonight to simply ask everyone to consider what it takes for a melting pot society to effectively coexist. And I personally believe that neutrality is crucial for that. Um, I believe that's the foundation that genuine and lasting equality is built upon. Nowhere in this legislature is it even implied that LGBTQIA plus would be attacked or not tolerated. And I feel that there's a lot of misinformation and not proper education in the hall, conversations I had. Um, many people here don't even understand the details of this law. Um, I just, I wish we would just as a whole consider a more moderate approach. I feel like neutrality is what allows us all to exist and peacefully. And I guess that's all I really have to say. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Hannah Jones. Hannah Jones. <coughs> Hannah Jones. Hamiyar, you're next. Hamiyar, you're next. 
Hello, uh, my name is Hannah Jones. Um, I'm here to speak on the flag issue, as many people are. Um, I would like to take it back to Russ Gordon. He spoke earlier. Um, his initial plan with these flags, um, and with, that he shared with me, we are neighbors, um, is that he wants children, immigrant children, to look up at these flags and see a piece of home, um, see something that feels familiar. Um, and I feel the same type of way about the LGBTQ community looking at these flags. You know, they need to see a piece of home here. Um, and this flag to me shows me that I am in a place that I, I am safe and that I am welcome and that my fiance is safe and that she is welcome. Um, and that so many people um, who visit for the arts um, and who live here are safe and welcome. And if you remove this flag, you are removing their feeling of safety and the way that they feel welcomed in this community. Um, so I urge you to please, please let us fly our flag just like all the other countries, or not other countries, but just like all the other flags get to be flown. And um, I think that it's really important that people see a piece of themselves um, on city property um, and around the city in general. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Hamyad? 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 And then, yeah, Hamyad, you're next. And then I have Ahmed Al Salami next. Ahmed Al Salam is next. Yeah, Hamia, yeah, you're now. Hello, my name is Hamir Al Jamali. I'm a German president and a member of the Human Relations Commission. The reason I stepped up to talk today was to say that I don't support the raising of the LGBTQ flag or any other flag that's not an international flag. City on, that's on city property and the city flags, the, the flag poles that are on Joseph Campbell. The resolution that was passed in 2013 clearly states that no other flag other than an international flag shall be raised. And that's including LGBT flag, LGBTQ flag, or if I want to raise the Islamic flag or any other flag. So today is just to kind of confirm what was already voted in 2013. So there should not be any discussion on this. But even if we are discussing it, it's, it's very clear. It's already a law, and we're just confirming that law into order again. It's, uh, it never went out of order. Or never went out of, uh, I don't know how you would say it, but it never stopped being enforced, or maybe it wasn't enforced, but it should have been enforced. And uh, I think it was a year ago when they raised their flag, the LGBTQ group, it should have been enforced then. And today we're just kind of confirming what will be enforced in the future, so that it's just clear to everyone. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think whether you support LGB the, the LGBTQ group or not, it doesn't matter at all. What we're discussing is the legality of any group's flags being flown. And from my understanding, uh, it's just to uh, basically confirm what happened in 2013 and just to make it more clear to everyone. Uh, and I think that one other thing that we should be doing is making it more accessible to anyone. Because I was, I was trying to look up the resolution in 2013. I honestly could not find it until I had to ask the mayor and uh, I think he asked Max for it. So I think it, we should be making it more clear after, you know, to look it up or if there should be like a, I, may, there might be a system I don't know about, but I think there should be a system to make it more clear to uh, citizens to find any resolution, um, the agenda minutes and all this, it should be more accessible to citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Commander. Ahmed Al Salani. Ah. Are you Ahmed? Or no, you're leaving? Ahmed Al Salami. Ahmed Al Salami. Ahmed Al Salami. No? Once you open up Hamid Ali? Hamid Ali? Hamid Ali? Hamid! No, Hamid? Rizik Al Gahim? Rizik Al Gahim? Rizik Al Gahim? Rizik Al Gahim? No, Abdu, Abdu, Mo, Mo, Abdu, <laughs> Abdu Am, Abdu Am, Abdul Am. No, not Abdul Am. 
Abdul M. 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 No. What about Abdul Alafi? Alafi. Abdul Alafi. Which one? M. Oh, okay. The M is missing. Thank you. Are you saying we, he doesn't want uh, people around his kids because they will be in trouble? Okay. I have Mohammed. I think it's Atwan or Atwal. Atwan. 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 Forest Hughes. Forest Hughes. Forest Gump. Forest Hughes. Forest Hughes. Forest Hughes. Yeah. Three minutes, Forest. Thank you. Hello. My name is Forest Hughes. I am a very proud queer citizen and resident of Hamtramck. Um, first. I want to say to everyone that's here tonight, happy Pride. It's Pride Month, it's June, which means that, um, please don't laugh, sir. Uh, it means that I should be at home or at a party celebrating with my queer friends and queer family. And instead, I'm here trying to stave off discriminatory attacks against my community. And that's horrible, because I look forward to June all year, because it's a time where I get to feel celebrated and safe, and instead I have to deal with this, which sucks. This resolution is a bald move to disempower me and my fellow queer citizens of this city. And I'm here to speak out against it and speak out against the people who support it. First, I want you all to understand that removing flags from the city property will not diminish the queer population in this city. We're here, we're everywhere, we're living beautiful, joyous, fantastic lives, and you can't make us go away. Removing the symbols that celebrate our existence and pride will only serve to harm our community, especially our youth who are very vulnerable and to make Hamtramck a less safe place for us and potentially embolden people in this city to contribute to the rising statistics of violence against our community. If this is your desire through this resolution, shame on you. And if you are ignorant to this reality and this impact of this resolution, shame on you. Speaking of statistics, your resolution has this funny thing. It states that through the country's flags that are on Joseph Campo, each group, quote unquote, is already represented. Let me tell you that of the countries whose flags are flown, at least four of those countries criminalize queerness in various forms through prison or physical punishment. How can you say that those flags sufficiently represent queer citizens of ham traffic from those countries? In this country, America, whose flag you say sufficiently represents me, a member of the LGBTQ community is three times more likely to attempt suicide. How can you say that that flag represents me? You can pretend that this resolution is meant to protect, a to protect diversity, but you know very well that all it will do is to encourage discrimination against the LGBTQ community. And I have two last things to say. One, I'm here, I'm a voting citizen, and I have a lot of friends. If you pass this resolution in order to harm my community, I will do everything in my power to make sure that none of you is ever reelected in this city. And secondly, if this resolution passes, and it means that queer pride flags can't be flown on public property, on private, pro on private property, I will start a fund and fundraise from my friends all over this country to buy as many queer flags as I can and put them on every bit of private property that exists in the city that someone will let me. You can't make us go away. You can't eliminate queerness by eliminating this flag. It will only hurt us. Please don't do this. But either way, there will be pride flags all over this city, one way or another, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Hannah, I think it's Manella. Hannah Manella. Hannah Manella. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to hold this, right? Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. 
My name is Hannah Manella. I lived in Ham I lived in Hampshire a couple years ago, and I had to leave because of housing issues. But I came back because it is, as you all know, one of the most incredible places on this earth. Um, historically, Hamtramck is and has been a safe haven for immigrants. You all know this. Um, it is one of the only places in the country where displaced folks are not only welcome, but are able to celebrate their cultures and identities. That's what we all love about it. Council members, there is another community that is desperately seeking asylum. Queer and trans people are at extremely high risk for homelessness, murder, suicide, and mental health struggles. 82% of transgender folks considered suicide in 2022, and unfortunately, 40% of those people attempted their life. Whether you believe that gender non-conforming people are valid, I know that you believe in the sanctity of life. LGBTQ young people are 120% more likely to experience being unhoused. Whether you believe being queer is valid, I know you believe everyone deserves a home. You do not have to agree with your neighbor to love and respect them. Bengali, Polish, Pakistani, Yemeni, Ukrainian, white, black, and LGBTQ folks can and have all thrived here for years. This city has never been neutral. It is loving, vibrant, unique, and that is what the pride flag represents. Hamtramck has gone down in history books for its diversity and acceptance. So say no to Resolution 2023-82 and let that legacy continue. Thank you. Thank you. Christina Constas. Christina Sanquez. She's right here. Sanquez, oh. Christina. Um. Hola. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, uh, oh, so, so, so I'm so sorry. Did not know the words. You could just have same eyes for you. I just want to see everyone. Please. Nope, you got to yeah. talk to Oh, I'm so sorry. I've never, I, I, I okay. apologize. Tell me the rules. What you have a I, mission, I see. I, yeah. If you want to... Oh, what, 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 I can just if, talk. If you want to not talk and stay standing there, you're more than welcome, but you stay behind the podium and address the council. Okay, I gotta address the yes. counselor. All these people the here, mayor. is this who I'm talking to? And the people behind me get to just see the back of my head. Yes. Or that sounds great. <laughs> I was 17 years old and I was working in Royal Oak, Michigan. And I came here the first time and I stopped at the mobile gas station. I was a little scared when I came into town. And I realized, wow, oh my, what a beautiful place. So I decided I was gonna move here and then I decided I was gonna stay here. And then, no work, exit. Work arrived back 2008 with a dream, not only for Hamtramck, but for the state of Michigan, for the film incentive, a new beginning, and I said anywhere but Hamtramck. Anywhere but Hamtramck I'll buy property. And guess where I ended up? Right on the main drag, right at the traffic light, right dead center, on accident. One minute. 15 years later have gone by. You can find me tonight on, maybe they'll air me, maybe they won't. This way, please. Please go to I'm so, Allah. I know, I'm so sorry. My apologies, I should be taken off my hat, respect. I respect you, you respect me. I eat at your restaurants, we walk the same streets, 30 seconds. Should I put it up for sale? When I came here in 2008, there was a pamphlet on my thing that said, if you're gay, we can't rent to you. So I decided I will buy, and I will rent, and I will house. And I'll open up my house for free for any flag that stands for freedom, love, and compassion. Thank you very much. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Frank Noel. Frank Noel. Frank Noel. I can yes. begin? All right. So, in relation to the resolution on flying pride flags or flags in general, the question to be answered on the resolution of flying pride flags is that of neutrality and diversity. But the higher question here is that of rights, of human rights and identity, of liberty itself. What is the pride flag but a symbol of a given human community? a community faced every day with countless discriminations and attacks. Unlike with other flags, this is not some kind of banner of the limiting and hatred of peoples and their full flowering and multiplicity. It is in fact the symbol of liberation and of many ways, and of the many ways human beings can be. We are speaking here on the rights of people to exist and to be proud of their existence, which when denied a symbol of themselves within government, is their erasure and merely a small step on to the way of their genocide. A genocide we see being attempted all across the country. We see an example of this overseas in the banning of flying Palestinian flags in the false state of Israel. Who would deny that the, ba uh, you know, who here would deny that the banning of flying a flag of your people isn't but a part of the continued attempt at erasing and destroying said Palestinian community and identity. So too now here with the queer community. We have the choice here of standing with human liberty and rights of flying proudly a flag of our people, or choosing to instead, in some false excuse of neutrality, hide and kowtow to those forces that seek the destruction of our fellow human beings. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mayor, that's all for in-person public comments. So I'm going to start.